As you venture forward, you'll encounter challenges and doubts, but you'll navigate through them guided by the stars of your dreams. You'll anchor yourself in the vast ocean of your aspirations. However, be aware, this path requires courage to trust in the unseen, determination to reshape your life, and the wisdom to understand that you are the architect of your fate. So, get ready to embark on this adventure where every step leads you closer to realising your deepest desires. It's time to embrace your power and shape your destiny with purpose and conviction. Remember, your journey won't always be easy, but I'm here to help you find ways to overcome obstacles. We'll turn barriers into opportunities and see challenges as chances to grow. When you discover how to create your own reality, it changes everything. You realise that you're not just a bystander in your own life. You're the main character, crafting amazing stories of success, love, health and wealth. The concept of creating your reality isn't some hidden secret. It's a timeless truth waiting to be rediscovered and used purposefully. It's about understanding that you have the ability to shape your life in the way you desire and with the right approach and focus, you can achieve remarkable things. Throughout this journey, you'll discover how to push aside doubts, fears and beliefs that hold you back and tune into the clear signals of your deepest wishes. It's like clearing away static on a radio to find the perfect station. Deep within your everyday experiences lies a powerful truth that often goes unnoticed. Reality isn't fixed or rigid. It's flexible. It bends and shifts according to what you perceive, believe and think. Let's dive into this idea of reality being like clay in your hands, ready to be shaped by your inner world. We'll draw upon the wisdom of quantum field theory and the incredible abilities of your subconscious mind. Think about it for a moment. What seems solid and unchangeable is actually more like a blank canvas waiting for your thoughts and beliefs to paint its scenery. This isn't just a fancy metaphor. It's a profound insight into the very nature of existence itself. In every moment and every experience, there's a mix of shared and personal thoughts that shape what happens. It's like a big orchestra of thoughts turning into real things. Quantum field theory, a fancy science term, helps us understand how thoughts affect what happens around us. At the smallest level of reality, things don't have set shapes until someone looks at them. This means that just by watching something, or expecting something to happen, our thoughts can actually change what happens. This idea suggests that we play a big part in making things real through what we think and believe. It's like saying that what we see and what we believe aren't just reactions to the world, they're actually helping create it. This has big implications. It means that if we change how we feel inside, we can change what's happening outside in the world around us. So by understanding this, we realise we have more power than we might have thought to shape our lives. The wisdom shared by Neville Goddard and Joseph Murphy gives us valuable clues on how to make the most of this potential. According to Goddard's Law of Assumption, if you imagine feeling like your wish has already come true, it starts a chain of events that makes it happen. On the other hand, Murphy talks a lot about how our subconscious mind shapes our reality. He believes that by repeating our desires to ourselves, and really feeling them, we can kind of program our subconscious to make them real. Both Goddard and Murphy show us how incredibly powerful our minds are in shaping what happens around us. They teach us that our subconscious mind doesn't care about things like logic or time. It's always working behind the scenes to make our inner feelings match our outer world. To put these ideas into action, start by paying attention to your thoughts and what you believe. This step is super important. Notice how your thoughts match up with what's happening to you. Then, try out changing your thoughts on purpose to match what you want to happen. Here's a tip from Neville Goddard. Focus on how it would feel if your wish had already come true. He thought that feeling was the most important part, like it's already real right now, not just something far off in the future. Next, work on getting your subconscious mind on board with your dreams. You can do this by picturing your life exactly how you want it to be, 
using techniques like visualizing, repeating positive statements called affirmations, and really getting emotionally into it. It's a step-by-step -step process that happens moment by moment, breath by breath, second by second. When you understand that the world around you can change and your thoughts play a big part in that, you open yourself up to a whole bunch of amazing things you can make happen. The world around you is like a big quilt made up of what you see, what you believe and what you think. And guess what? You're the one stitching it together. When you start to understand and control these things, you're taking the first step towards shaping your own reality. Now, when it comes to beliefs, they're super important because they're like the blueprint for your life. What you believe sets the stage for everything else. And here's the thing. Beliefs aren't just little thoughts hanging out in your head. They're like powerful forces that shape how you see the world, how you react to things, and even who you are. So, if you want to create a reality that's full of good stuff, you've got to plant positive, empowering beliefs in your subconscious. With a little love and attention, you can grow a reality that reflects your deepest desires and dreams. Before you can change your reality, you need to figure out what beliefs are holding you back. These beliefs might have been planted in your brain when you were a kid, or they might have come from stuff that's happened to you in the past. Either way, they're like big walls blocking you from reaching your full potential. To find out what these beliefs are, you've got to pay attention to what's going on in your head. Notice what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and how you react to stuff. Then, try to figure out where those thoughts and feelings are coming from. What do they say about you and the world you live in? It's like being a detective, searching for clues to uncover the beliefs that are holding you back. Once you've found them, you can start to break them down and build new, more positive beliefs in their place. To kickstart your journey, try reflective journaling. Take some time to write down your thoughts and feelings, especially about things that scare you, make you doubt yourself, or areas where you feel like you're not making progress. Dig deep and ask yourself some tough questions. Why am I so scared of this? Why do I keep acting like this? By asking yourself these questions and then writing down your answers, you start to uncover what beliefs might be hiding underneath. Here's the thing. You might not even realize what you truly believe until you start writing it down. That's why journaling can be so powerful. It helps you shine a light on those hidden beliefs so you can start to deal with them. So grab a pen and paper and let's start uncovering the truths that are holding you back. The next step involves practicing meditation and mindfulness. These are tools that help you pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. It might sound a bit strange, but it's really important. Before you can start using meditation to shape your reality, you need to get good at noticing what's going on inside your head. Meditation and mindfulness help you do just that. They help you become more aware of your thought patterns and how you react emotionally to things. By practicing these techniques, you'll start to see the beliefs that are behind these internal experiences. Now that you've figured out what beliefs are holding you back, it's time to start making some changes. Transforming these deeply ingrained beliefs isn't easy, but with some effort and the right strategies, it's totally doable. One strategy you can try is using affirmations. These are positive statements that help counteract your limiting beliefs. For example, if you believe you're not good enough, you could repeat affirmations like I am worthy and capable or I deserve success. To make affirmations really work, you need to repeat them regularly. Try saying them to yourself every day, especially during moments of quiet reflection or meditation. I like to do mine in the morning and before bed, but you can choose whatever times work best for you. You might even want to sneak in a few affirmations during the day when you need a little boost. By consistently reinforcing these positive messages, you'll start to reprogram your subconscious mind and replace those old limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. It takes time and effort, but trust me, it's worth it. Once you've been using affirmations for a while, 
it's time to try out visualization techniques. This is where you picture yourself living out the reality that your new, empowering beliefs support. It might sound a bit strange, but it's a really powerful way to train your brain to believe in your goals. When you visualize, you're basically creating vivid mental images of yourself achieving your goals and feeling really good about it. This helps reinforce those new beliefs you've been working on. Think of it like building a new house. First, you lay down the foundation with your affirmations. Then you use visualization to put up the walls and decorate the rooms with all the things you want in your life. Choosing these new beliefs is like being an artist. You get to decide what kind of picture you want to paint for yourself. Once you've picked out the beliefs that line up with your goals, you start embedding them into your subconscious mind through visualization. It's like planting seeds in a garden and watching them grow into beautiful flowers. With time and practice, these new beliefs will start to influence your reality in all sorts of positive ways. Neville Goddard had this idea that we're all like little versions of God with the same power as God, except for one thing, our beliefs. So the first step in changing your reality is understanding what you believe and then working on changing it. Now, how do you go about building these new, empowering beliefs? Well, one way is through something called scripting. Here's how it works. You write down your new beliefs in a really detailed and positive way. Let's say you don't believe you're successful or prosperous. You'd write down something like, I am successful in everything I do. Or, I attract prosperity into my life effortlessly. But here's the key. You have to describe these beliefs in a way that feels real to you. Write about how they affect the way you act, how you feel, and even how the world around you responds to you. This exercise helps make your new beliefs feel more real and gives you a clear plan for putting them into action. If you ever think you can't change your beliefs, just take a look at the world around you. People's beliefs are changing all the time. It's totally possible. The next step is to gather evidence that supports your new beliefs. Actively look for examples that prove your new beliefs are true. Your mind is like a super sleuth. It'll find whatever you're looking for. By doing this, you're reinforcing the idea that your new beliefs are valid. It's like building up a case to prove to yourself that these beliefs are real. And over time, this practice will start to change the way you see the world. Your perceptions will gradually shift to match up with the reality you want to create. So keep your eyes peeled for evidence that supports your new beliefs. The more you find, the stronger those beliefs will become. And before you know it, you'll be living in the reality you've always dreamed of. Here are some exercises that can help you build empowering beliefs. First up is the belief assessment exercise. Here's what you do. Make a list of your core beliefs about yourself, others, and the world. Next to each belief, jot down how it's influenced your experiences. Take a good look at each belief and decide which ones are helping you and which ones are holding you back. Next, try out the belief bridge technique. For every limiting belief you've identified, come up with a bridge belief that's more positive and feels achievable. For example, if you think, I'm not good enough to succeed, your bridge belief might be, I'm open to discovering my true worth and potential. These bridge beliefs act like stepping stones that lead you toward more empowering beliefs. Last but not least, there's daily belief integration. Pick one empowering belief to focus on each day. Throughout the day, ask yourself how someone who truly believes in this would behave, think and feel. Then make an effort to align your actions and mindset with this belief. It's like practicing living in your new reality until it becomes second nature. By doing these exercises regularly, you'll start to shift your beliefs in a positive direction and pave the way for a reality that's aligned with your deepest desires. Think of it like this. If you believe you can achieve your dreams, you're more likely to take action and make them happen. But if you believe you'll never succeed, you'll probably hold yourself back and never reach your full potential. So by consciously choosing to nurture empowering beliefs, you're setting yourself up for a reality where anything is possible. It's like planting the seeds for the life you truly want to live. And the best part is, you have the power to decide what you believe. 
Belief is like a magic key that can unlock a life full of good stuff, like abundance, growth and feeling fulfilled. Let's talk about the art of assuming. This is a really important idea when it comes to changing your reality. Think of it like this. At the core of making your dreams come true is this powerful idea called assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Neville Goddard, a wise teacher, talked a lot about this. He said that to make your desires real, you have to first feel like they've already happened. It's not just about wanting or wishing for something. It's about really feeling it in your bones, like it's already here, right now. Imagine you really want a new job. Instead of just hoping you'll get it, you'd act as if you've already got it, feeling confident, excited and grateful. It's like living in the future you want right now. This might sound a bit strange, but it's a powerful way to make your dreams a reality. Living in the end is all about operating from a place where your dream isn't far away. It's actually happening right now. It's like shifting from wishing for something to actually having it. Instead of just wanting something, you start acting and feeling like you already have it. It's about mentally and emotionally lining up with the reality you want. So if your goal is to land your dream job, living in the end means acting and feeling like you're already there. Confident, capable and excited about your work. It might sound a bit tricky, but it's a powerful way to make your dreams a reality. By living in the end, you're sending out a clear signal to the universe that you're ready for your desires to come true. So next time you're working towards a goal, try stepping into the feeling of already achieving it. You might be surprised at what happens. Let's start by painting a picture in your mind. Think of a scene that shows your dream coming true. It should be short, clear and really emotional. The key is to make this scene feel real and vivid. Imagine every detail, the sights, the sounds, the feelings. The more you can immerse yourself in this scene, the more powerful it will be. So take a moment to really visualize your dream coming true. See it, feel it, and believe it. Who knows? This could be the first step toward making it a reality. Now let's talk about the next step, emotional saturation. This is where you dive deep into that mental scene we just created until it feels incredibly real and alive. The idea is to soak your mind in the emotions and sensations of that imagined reality, Maybe it's the feeling of pure joy, overwhelming gratitude or deep peace. The key is to really feel it in your bones, as if it's happening right now. For some people, this can be tough because they've never actually experienced that reality before. That's okay. Your mind is like a powerful storyteller and it's really good at imagining things. One trick is to ask yourself, how would I feel if this were true? By tapping into those emotions, you can start to bring that mental scene to life. It might take some practice, but keep at it. Think of it like supercharged daydreaming. You're not just imagining something cool. You're fully immersing yourself in it until it feels totally real. And trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's a pretty awesome experience. So enjoy the process and let your imagination run wild. Your emotional resonance, it's like tuning into the same frequency as your dream reality. When your emotions match up with what you want, it's like sending out a powerful signal to the universe. Your emotions act like a magnet, drawing in experiences that match how you feel inside. So if you want to make your dreams come true, your emotions need to line up with what you're wishing for. The key is to really feel like you already have or are living your dream. This feeling is super important. It's like the secret source that makes manifestation work. You've got to embody that feeling throughout your day. Not just when you're doing visualization exercises or meditating for a few minutes. This isn't a one-time thing. It's a continuous process. By staying emotionally aligned with your desires, you're telling the universe that you're ready to receive them. Next up is cultivating a positive emotional state. This means focusing on feelings like gratitude, love and appreciation every single day. Think about it. If your dream came true, you'd probably feel pretty grateful and loved, right? Well, by practicing these emotions regularly, you're tuning into the same high-frequency vibes that make manifestation happen. And here's the secret. 
The more you can stay in this positive emotional state, the more you'll attract the things you want. So always keep that attitude of gratitude, love and appreciation. It's the key to unlocking your dream life. Now when it comes to imagination and visualisation, it's like having a blank canvas where you can paint the picture of your dream life. Visualisation is the tool you use to make those pictures come to life. When you imagine what you want, you're creating a blueprint for your dream reality. It's like giving your subconscious mind a roadmap to follow. And the cool thing is, the more you practice visualising, the clearer that roadmap becomes. So, make it a point to set aside time every day to visualise your goals. Picture yourself living out your dream scenario using all your senses. It's like watching a movie of your ideal life playing in your mind. The more you do this, the more real and achievable your dreams will feel. Visualisation is like flexing a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. So keep practising and watch as your dreams start to take shape before your eyes. Let's address a common concern. Some people think they can't visualise. But hey, let's kick that belief to the curb. I've seen plenty of people who thought they couldn't visualise, but with a little creativity, they found a way. If you're struggling with traditional visualisation, don't sweat it. There are plenty of alternatives to explore. Try painting a mental picture with words, write out a detailed description of your dream scenario, or maybe try scripting it out like you're writing a movie script. Heck, even just imagining the scene in your mind's eye can work wonders. The point is, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to visualisation. So if the traditional methods aren't clicking for you, don't give up. Get creative and find a way that works for you. Who knows? You might discover a whole new way of bringing your dreams to life. When you imagine your dream scenario, what do you see, hear, feel, taste and smell? Maybe you see yourself achieving your goal. Hear the sounds of success. Feel the excitement in your bones. Taste the victory and smell the sweet scent of accomplishment. Each of these senses is like a gateway that boosts your manifesting power and directly influences your subconscious mind. So, when you're visualising, try to incorporate all five senses. The more detailed and sensory-rich your visualisation, the more it'll resonate with your subconscious. So, get specific. Paint a vivid mental picture that engages all your senses. The more you can immerse yourself in the experience, the more powerful its impact will be. Trust me, it's like turbocharging your manifestation efforts. Let's talk about incorporating the art of assuming into your daily routine. This means making living in the end, emotional resonance, and imaginative visualization a regular part of your life. Here are some practical steps to help you do just that. First, make a commitment to living in the end. This means acting and feeling as if your desires have already come true. Practice embodying the emotions and attitudes of someone who has achieved their goals. Next, focus on emotional resonance. Cultivate positive emotions like gratitude, love and joy on a daily basis. These feelings will help align your vibration with the reality you want to create. Finally, don't forget about imaginative visualisation. Set aside time each day to visualise your desired outcomes in vivid detail. Engage all your senses and really immerse yourself in the experience. By consistently practicing these techniques, you'll start to see your desired reality manifesting in your everyday life. So make a commitment to integrate the art of assuming into your daily routine and watch as your dreams become a reality. Next up, let's talk about starting your day off right with morning intention setting. This simple practice can really set the tone for your entire day. Here's how it works. When you wake up, take a moment to set an intention for the day. This means deciding how you want to feel and what you want to focus on. One powerful way to do this is by visualising your desired outcome. Picture yourself living out your dream scenario and really immerse yourself in the emotions of that moment. Whether it's joy, gratitude or excitement, try to feel it as if it's already happening. By starting your day with this positive intention and visualisation, you're setting yourself up for success. You'll be more focused, motivated and aligned with the reality you want to create. So, give morning intention setting a try 
and see how it transforms your day. Next up, let's talk about something called emotional alignment checks. It's all about making sure your emotions are in sync with your desires throughout the day. Here's how it works. Every so often, take a moment to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Are you still embodying the emotions of your wish fulfilled? If you find that you've drifted away from that positive emotional state, don't worry. There are quick techniques you can use to realign yourself. One option is to do some simple breath work. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself and reset your emotional state. Another option is to do a quick visualization where you picture yourself back in that desired scenario and re-immerse yourself in those positive feelings. By regularly checking in with your emotions and realigning as needed, you'll stay on track to manifesting your desires. It's like giving yourself a little tune-up throughout the day to keep your manifestation engine running smoothly. So, give emotional alignment checks a try and see how they help you stay focused and aligned with your goals. Next up, let's talk about evening reflection, a key practice to end your day on a positive note. Here's how it works. At the end of the day, take some time to reflect. Think about the moments when you felt really good, when you were aligned with the emotions of your desired reality. It's important to recognize and celebrate these moments because they're signs that you're on the right track. And remember, this is something you'll want to do every day. It's an ongoing process. As you reflect on these positive moments, take a moment to visualize your desired scene again. This helps reinforce it in your subconscious mind setting the stage for more positive manifestations in the future. By ending your day with this practice, you're not only reinforcing your desired reality, but you're also cultivating a mindset of gratitude and positivity. Next up, let's dive into the power of mastering the art of assuming. It's all about using your emotions and imagination to bring your dreams to life. Here's the deal. When you really get the hang of assuming, you unlock this incredible creative power within yourself. It's like you become the director of your own reality show, using your emotions and imagination as your tools. This practice takes those abstract dreams and turns them into something real and tangible. It's like you're guiding the universe to make your deepest desires come true. Next up, let's delve into the concept of reality transurfing, a fascinating framework that can help us understand and shape our reality. It's like a roadmap for navigating the complexities of manifesting what we want in life. Reality transurfing goes beyond the typical ideas we've talked about and introduces some really interesting principles. Instead of just hoping things will work out, it teaches us how to actively choose our own path. Imagine it like this. You're not just a passenger on the journey of life. You're the one driving the car. Reality Transurfing gives you the tools and knowledge to steer in the direction you want to go. The key principles of Transurfing to understand how you can use them to make your dreams a reality. Transurfing offers a unique way of looking at the world, helping us tap into the infinite possibilities that exist around us. So, here's the gist. Transurfing teaches us that reality isn't just one straight line. It's more like a vast ocean with countless waves and currents. This idea is based on the concept of the space of variations, a sort of quantum playground where all the different possibilities of reality exist. According to Transurfing, our consciousness acts like a sailboat navigating this ocean. Our thoughts, emotions and intentions are like the wind and the waves guiding us toward different life tracks within the space of variations. What's really cool about this perspective is that it shifts the focus from trying to change the world around us to choosing our path within it. Instead of feeling like we're at the mercy of external forces, transurfing empowers us to take control of our own destiny. The core ideas of reality transurfing. First up, we have the concept of the space of variations. Picture this. It's like a huge library filled with every possible version of your life. 
Imagine flipping through the pages of a book where each page represents a different path your life could take. Every decision you make, every choice you consider, it's all there, laid out in this vast quantum field of possibilities. So why is this concept important? Well, it reminds us that our lives aren't set in stone. Instead, we have the power to choose which path we want to take. It's like we're the authors of our own story, with the space of variations giving us infinite options to explore. Understanding this idea can be incredibly empowering. It means that no matter where we are in life, there are always new possibilities waiting for us to discover. So let's embrace the idea of the space of variations and start exploring all the amazing paths that lie ahead. In simpler terms, think of pendulums as energy structures made from what lots of people think and feel together. Imagine everyone's thoughts and feelings are like building blocks for creating their own worlds. But what if many people's thoughts come together to make something happen? That's where pendulums come in. They can push and pull on how you think and feel, kind of like a magnet. They might even trap you in a reality you don't want to be in. So it's important to realise when these outside forces, these pendulums are at work. By noticing them and not letting them control you, you can keep a hold on your own world. In a bit more detail, think about a pendulum swinging back and forth. It's like a big energy thing made up of what many people think and feel together. Each person's thoughts and emotions are like tiny pieces contributing to this big swinging pendulum. So if everyone's thoughts and emotions come together strongly enough, they can actually create something in the real world. These pendulums can then start affecting how you think and feel, pulling you into their sway. They might even make you feel stuck in a reality you don't like. That's why it's super important to notice when these outside forces, these pendulums, are trying to control you. By being aware of them and not letting them take over, you can keep control over your own personal world. Next up, let's talk about energy levels. Your energy level is like the fuel that helps you move around in the world of possibilities. The higher your energy level, the better you can pick and stick to the reality you want. It's like having a superpower to shape your life the way you want it. So, making sure you use your energy wisely is really important for making transurfing work for you. Think of your energy level as the strength you have to make choices and make things happen in your life. When your energy level is high, you're like a superhero with the ability to pick and stick to the reality you want. But when your energy level is low, it's like you're running on empty and it's harder to make things go your way. That's why it's crucial to be smart about how you use your energy. Transurfing is all about giving you tools and strategies to consciously choose and steer your life toward the tracks you really want to be on in the big space of possibilities. So. The first thing we're talking about here is reducing the idea of something being super important. In transurfing, they say it's not good to put too much importance on stuff like goals or problems. Why? Because when you make something super important, you end up creating a lot of extra energy around it. And that extra energy can actually push away the things you really want. Imagine you really want something to happen like getting a job or passing a test. If you keep thinking, this is the most important thing ever, it can actually make it harder for you to reach that goal. It's like you're pushing it away by wanting it so much. But if you can chill out a bit and not make it seem like such a big deal, it might actually come to you more easily. So by reducing the importance, you're basically taking away all that pressure and desire that can mess things up. It's like saying, hey, it would be cool if this happened, but if it doesn't, no biggie. And weirdly enough, that relaxed attitude can actually help you get closer to what you want. The second strategy of transurfing, which is all about sliding into the reality you want. So picture this. You have this awesome vision of the life you want to live, right? Well, instead of just dreaming about it, transurfing says you've got to put yourself in the mindset and feelings of already living that life. That means imagining yourself there feeling all the emotions like you've already made it happen. By doing this, you're basically nudging yourself onto the path that leads to your dream life. It's like you're sliding into it, step by step, 
And as you keep focusing on that desired reality and feeling it like it's already yours, you're actually shifting yourself closer to it in the big picture of possibilities. The third strategy in transurfing, which is all about managing your energy. Think of your energy like the fuel that powers your journey through life. Just like how you fill up a car with gas to keep it running smoothly, you need to take care of your energy to make transurfing work effectively for you. Now, there are lots of ways to do this. You can try practices like meditation or mindfulness, which help you stay centered and focused. And it's important to do things that really light you up inside, things that make your heart sing. When you do stuff that aligns with what you truly desire, it boosts your energy levels and makes it easier to navigate through life's twists and turns. See, there are these things called pendulums, which are basically energy suckers. They can drain your energy and throw you off course if you're not careful. But when you understand how your energy works, you become stronger and more capable of creating the reality you want. So by managing your energy wisely, you're not only taking care of yourself, but also empowering yourself to shape your reality in a really efficient way. It's like taking control of the steering wheel and driving yourself toward the life you've always dreamed of. There are practical applications to the transurfing teachings. To apply these principles, consider the following practical steps. The first step, being aware of pendulums. Pendulums are like these big energy waves created by lots of people's thoughts and feelings. They can be things like big companies, political groups, or even huge media events. Basically, anything that gets a bunch of people thinking and feeling the same way can become a pendulum. Now, here's the thing. These pendulums have power. They can start messing with your thoughts and emotions, pulling you into their sway without you even realizing it. But once you're aware of them, you can start taking back control. By recognizing when these pendulums are at work, you can choose not to give them your energy. It's like saying, hey, I'm not going to let you mess with my reality. And by doing that, you free yourself up to decide what kind of reality you want to live in. It's all about taking back your power and making choices that are true to you. The second step, balancing importance. Take a look at your life and see if there are any areas where you've made something super duper important. Maybe it's a goal you're really fixated on, or a problem that feels like it's taking over your whole world. Whatever it is, it's important to find balance. Try stepping back and looking at things from a different angle. Instead of getting all worked up about your goals or problems, try to approach them with a sense of calm detachment. This means not letting your emotions run the show and not giving them too much power over you. When you dial down the intensity and approach things calmly, it's like putting on a pair of glasses that helps you see things more clearly. You're saying to yourself, I got this, even when things seem tough. And when you tackle challenges with this mindset, it's like having a secret superpower that helps you overcome obstacles and reach your goals more easily. So by staying balanced and level-headed, you're setting yourself up for success, one step at a time. The third step, the visualization and slide technique. Picture this. You close your eyes and imagine the life you want, really vividly. You see yourself living it, feeling all the emotions like it's happening right now. This isn't just daydreaming, it's like painting a detailed picture in your mind. By doing this regularly, you're creating what Transurfing calls a slide. It's like creating a pathway that leads you straight to the reality you desire. It's pretty cool because you're basically telling the universe, this is what I want, and it starts lining things up for you in that direction. Integrating transurfing principles into your approach to shaping your reality is like unlocking a superpower for navigating life's countless possibilities. It's a method that guides you toward the life you want with precision and ease. Think of transurfing as a special tool or software that you can use to craft your reality effectively. It's like having a GPS for your dreams, helping you steer clear of the roadblocks that trip up most people along the way. Next up, let's dive into the emotional guidance system. Think of your emotions like a built-in GPS for your life. They're not just random feelings. 
they're actually giving you real-time feedback about whether you're on track with what you want or if there's something blocking your path. When you feel positive emotions like joy, love or gratitude, it's a sign that you're in sync with the universe. Your thoughts and beliefs are lining up with your goals and you're moving in the right direction. But when you experience negative emotions like fear, doubt or anger, it's like a red flag waving at you. These feelings are telling you that there might be some resistance holding you back. It could be that your thoughts and beliefs aren't quite in line with what you want to achieve. So by paying attention to your emotions, you can get valuable insights into whether you're moving closer to your dreams or if there's some work to be done. It's like having a compass that guides you towards your desired reality, helping you navigate life's twists and turns with clarity and purpose. Next up, let's explore the importance of lifting your mood to match your desired reality. It's super important to feel good if you want to get closer to what you want in life. But hey, we all have those moments when we're feeling a bit down, right? The good news is there are lots of tricks you can use to turn those frowns upside down. One great technique is mindful breathing. It's simple, but super effective. Just take a few deep breaths, focusing on the air going in and out of your lungs. This helps calm your mind and brings you back to a more peaceful state, even when things around you feel chaotic. Next up, let's delve into how you can improve your mood and overall well-being by adding some simple practices into your daily routine. First up, we have meditation. It's not as fancy as it sounds. It's basically just taking a few moments to sit quietly and focus on your breath. Doing this regularly can really help you feel more calm and centered, which is awesome for your emotional health. Next, try visualizing what you want in life. Picture yourself achieving your goals and living your best life. This can help you stay motivated and focused on what's important to you. And hey, don't forget about doing stuff that makes you happy. Whether it's going for a walk in the park, hitting the gym, or working on a hobby you love, these activities can give you an instant mood boost. Next up, let's dive deeper into the idea that feeling is the key to making your dreams a reality. You've probably heard that it's not just about thinking positively, it's about feeling it in your bones, as if your dreams have already come true. This is because the emotions you put out into the world are like magnets, drawing similar experiences back to you. So if you want something in your life, whether it's abundance, love or anything else, you've got to really feel it. Imagine what it would be like if you already had it and let yourself feel those emotions deep down inside. It might sound simple, but it can be tricky for a lot of us. Emotions can be a bit like a roller coaster, hard to understand and even harder to control. But there's a trick that can help. Gratitude. By regularly practicing gratitude, you can actually boost your emotional state. It's like flipping a switch in your brain, making you feel happier and more content with what you have. And when you're feeling good, it's easier to align yourself with the things you want in life. Next up, let's explore the idea of doing daily check-ins with your emotions to see how you're feeling. Every day, take a moment to pause and tune in to how you're feeling. Pay attention to any negative emotions that might be lurking around. These could be things like stress, fear or sadness. By doing this emotional check-in, you're basically taking stock of what's going on inside you. It's like shining a light on those feelings that might be holding you back from reaching your goals. Once you've identified any negative emotions, you can start to work on letting them go. This might involve doing things like deep breathing, going for a walk, or talking to a friend. The important thing is to acknowledge those feelings and then find healthy ways to deal with them. So, by making these daily emotional check-ins a habit, you'll be better equipped to stay on track with what you're trying to manifest in your life. It's like clearing away the emotional clutter so you can focus on what really matters to you. Next up, let's delve into the idea of syncing up your heart and mind for creating the reality you want. Imagine your heart and mind as two powerful players on your team. When they're working together in harmony, it's like having a secret weapon for making your dreams come true. This connection or coherence is super important for manifesting what you want in life. 
So how do you achieve this harmony? Well, it's all about getting your desires, which come from your heart, and your beliefs, which are housed in your mind, on the same page. When you believe in your heart's desires and align them with your thoughts, it's like sending out a powerful signal to the universe that says, hey, I'm ready for this. Luckily, there are specific techniques and exercises you can use to cultivate this alignment. It might involve things like visualization, affirmations, or even just taking time to tune in to what your heart really wants. By practicing these techniques regularly, you'll strengthen the connection between your heart and mind, making it easier to manifest your desires with greater ease and efficiency. It's like turning up the volume on your dreams and watching them come to life before your eyes. Next up, let's explore the concept of heart-brain coherence, which is all about getting your heart and brain to work together in perfect sync. Imagine your heart and brain as a dynamic duo, like Batman and Robin, working together to tackle life's challenges. When they're in sync, it's like they're speaking the same language, and that's what we call coherence. Researchers like the people over at the HeartMath Institute have shown that when your heart's rhythmic patterns and your brain's neural networks are in sync, amazing things happen. You feel better emotionally, you become more resilient to stress, and your brain works smarter, not harder. Now here's where it gets really cool. In the world of manifestation, coherence is like turbocharging your efforts. When your heart and brain are working together smoothly, it's easier to align your feelings and thoughts with what you want to create in your life. It's like having a supercharged engine powering your manifestation journey. So by practicing techniques that promote heart-brain coherence, like deep breathing or meditation, you're not just improving your overall well-being. You're also supercharging your ability to manifest your dreams into reality. It's like unlocking a whole new level of manifestation power that's been inside you all along. Next up, let's delve deeper into the idea of creating coherence between your heart and mind. It's all about getting your feelings and thoughts to work together in harmony to attract what you want in life. Picture your heart and mind as best friends who need to be on the same page to make magic happen. When they're in sync, it's like they're sending out a powerful signal to the universe that says, we're ready for good things to come our way. Now, how do you get them to sync up? Well, there are some pretty cool techniques you can try. One is called focused heart breathing. It's simple. Just close your eyes, take some deep breaths, and imagine you're breathing in and out through your heart. This helps shift your focus away from your busy mind and into your heart space, promoting a sense of calm and balance. Another technique is to combine focused heart breathing with feeling genuine positive emotions, like love or appreciation. When you focus on these feelings, it's like you're giving your heart a big hug. And when your heart is filled with love and positivity, it syncs up with your brain in a powerful way, making it easier to attract the things you want in life. Next up, let's take a deeper look at how integrating heart-brain coherence into your daily routine can change the way you create your reality. Once you start practicing heart-brain coherence, you'll begin to see some pretty amazing changes. It's like you've discovered a secret shortcut that makes manifesting your dreams faster, smoother and more effective. By making these practices a regular part of your life, you're basically tapping into a powerful energy source. It's like combining the forces of your heart and brain to create a turbocharged reality creation machine. And the best part? The more you practice, the more powerful this synergy becomes. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The more you water them, the faster they grow. So, by regularly engaging in heart-brain coherence practices, you're not just speeding up the reality creation process, you're supercharging it. Next up, let's explore the important topic of overcoming resistance and facing challenges on your journey to manifesting your dreams. When you're trying to make your dreams a reality, it's not always smooth sailing. Sometimes you hit roadblocks or encounter obstacles that make you want to give up. That's why I wanted to talk about this briefly. Resistance can show up in all sorts of ways. It might be that nagging feeling of fear or doubt in the back of your mind. Maybe it's that urge to procrastinate instead of taking action. Or perhaps it's external challenges that seem to be getting in your way. 
Whatever form it takes, resistance is like a warning sign that something's not quite right. It's often a sign that there's a disconnect between what you want and where you're at right now in terms of your beliefs or your vibe. The first step in overcoming resistance is recognizing it for what it is. Once you acknowledge that it's there, you can start to address it head on. You might need to realign your thoughts and beliefs with your intentions, or maybe you just need to take a different approach to the challenge you're facing. But the important thing is not to let resistance hold you back. See it as a signpost pointing you in the right direction, rather than a roadblock in your way. With determination and the right mindset, you can overcome any obstacle and keep moving forward towards your dreams. Next up, let's explore some effective strategies for overcoming resistance on your journey to achieving your goals. First, identifying pendulums. These are like big energy waves that can pull us into negative patterns. They might be things like negative thoughts, habits or situations that keep us stuck. The key is to recognize when you're caught up in one of these pendulum swings and consciously choose to step away from it. Next, there's the strategy of reducing importance. This means not giving too much power to the things that are causing resistance. When you dial down the importance of a challenge or obstacle, it's like taking away its fuel, making it easier to navigate through. Another powerful technique is energy redistribution, Instead of focusing on the resistance, shift your attention and energy towards actions and thoughts that align with your desired reality. This helps break free from the grip of negative pendulums and reduces the impact of obstacles in your path. By combining these strategies, you're creating a roadmap for overcoming resistance and moving closer to your goals. It's like clearing away the clouds to reveal the clear path ahead. Next up, let's explore some effective methods for dealing with setbacks, which are just a natural part of the journey towards your goals. First, try changing your perspective on setbacks. Instead of seeing them as roadblocks, view them as opportunities for growth and learning. When you shift your mindset like this, challenges can actually become stepping stones that propel you forward towards your dreams. It's also helpful to treat setbacks as working in your favor. Sometimes things might seem like they're going wrong, but they're actually leading you to something better. For example, imagine you get a flat tire on your way to work. It feels like a setback, but maybe it prevents you from getting into a dangerous accident or leads you to meet someone who helps you achieve your goals. So assume that everything is happening for a reason and stay flexible. That leads us to our next point. Flexibility. It's important to stay open to alternative paths and solutions that come your way. Being too rigid in your approach can actually create more resistance. Instead, go with the flow of life and adapt to whatever comes your way. Lastly, practice detachment and surrender. This doesn't mean giving up on your goals. It's about letting go of the need to control every little detail and trusting that the universe has your back. When you release that tight grip of control, you create space for the best possible outcome to unfold. By incorporating these strategies into your approach to setbacks, you'll find that challenges become easier to navigate and you'll stay on track towards your goals with greater ease. Next up, let's break down some practical steps you can take to create your reality, starting with defining your desires. 1. Define your desire clearly. The first step is to get really clear on what you want. Take some time to think about your desires and write them down. The more specific you can be, the better. This clarity helps you focus your energy and intentions towards what you truly want to manifest in your life. 2. Cultivate the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Once you've defined your desire, it's time to immerse yourself in the feeling of already having achieved it. This is where the magic happens. Close your eyes and really feel what it would be like to have your desire fulfilled. The more you can tap into this feeling, the more you align yourself with the energy of manifestation. 3. Reprogram your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind plays a huge role in manifesting your desires. That's why it's important to reprogram it with positive affirmations that support your desires. These are like little messages you send to your subconscious reinforcing your belief in your ability to achieve what you want. 
4. Repeat affirmations daily. Once you've defined your desires and cultivated the feeling of having achieved them, it's important to reinforce these beliefs in your subconscious mind. One effective way to do this is by repeating affirmations daily. These are positive statements that affirm your ability to manifest your desires. By consistently repeating these affirmations, you're imprinting your goals on your subconscious mind, reinforcing your belief in your ability to achieve them. 5. Reduce importance and detach from the outcome. Sometimes, we can get so caught up in wanting something to happen that we inadvertently create resistance. To minimize this resistance, practice letting go of the need to control the outcome. Trust that the universe has your back and that things will unfold as they're meant to. Focus instead on enjoying the journey and being open to whatever comes your way. Lastly, it's important to recognize external influences or pendulums that may try to sway your thoughts and emotions away from the reality you want to create. These can be things like societal norms, negative people, or even your own self-doubt. The key is to consciously choose to detach from these influences and stay true to your own vision. Additionally, maintaining high energy levels is essential for effective manifestation. Engage in activities that uplift and energize you, such as spending time in nature, practicing mindfulness, or pursuing hobbies you love. Ultimately, the key to creating your reality lies in the continuous practice and refinement of these techniques. By honing your ability to shape your perceptions, beliefs and thoughts, and by aligning your heart and mind with your desires, you can manifest the life you truly desire. It's a journey of self-discovery and empowerment, where every step forward brings you closer to realizing your dreams. Your journey to create your own reality is a unique and ongoing process. It requires you to try new things, adjust, and most importantly, believe in your ability to make your desires a reality. Remember, this journey isn't just about achieving a specific outcome, it's about discovering your inner power and finding joy in the process of creating your reality. As you embark on this journey, you'll not only transform your external world, but also grow personally and deepen your connection with the universe. Thank you for listening.